everybody welcome back to the news channel report ukrainian capital kiev hit by cruise or ballistic missiles explosion were hit in the ukrainian capital of kiev early friday as russian force pressed on with a full-scale invasion that resulted in the death of more than 100 ukrainians in the first full day of fighting and could eventually rewire the global post-war post-cold war security order there were repeated reports overnight that the city air defense stopped an air raid by intercepting a number of missiles and downing the enemy aircraft horrific russian rocket strikes on kiev tweeted ukraine's foreign minister dimitro kuleba drawing comparisons with world war ii Last time, our capital experienced anything like this was in 1941, when it was attacked by Nazi Germany. Ukraine defeated that evil and will defeat it. This one, strikes on Kiev with screw or basilistic missile continue. Anton Grushenko, advisor to the head of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, of Ukraine to reporters via text message Friday at the city population brace for more Russian military action. An officer with the Ukrainian Interior Ministry said an aircraft had crashed in the Danitsky district of Kiev, the BBC reported. Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Maya added that Ukrainian army unit were defending position so on four front depend being our number. Local reports say a nine story resin residential building is on fire in Kiev after using airstrikes on city and military base. Russian military units move swiftly to take on Ukraine seat of government and its largest city in what U.S. officers suspect a brazen attempt by Russian pre President Vladimir Putin to dismantle the government and replace it with his own regime. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky said the government has information that subsidized groups were encroaching on the city, and U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Kiev could well and be under siege in what U.S. officers believe is a brazen attempt by Russia President Vladimir Putin to dismantle the government and replace it with his own regime. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told lawmakers on the phone call that Russian mechanized force that entered from Beirut were about 20 miles from Kiev according to the person familiar with the call, the assault anticipable, for which by the U.S. and Western allies and undertaken by Putin in the face of international condemn condemnation and cascading sanctions amount to the largest ground war in Europe since World War II at Russian missiles bombarded city and military bay. Government leaders pleaded for help and for powerful sanctions against Russia. Civilians peeled into trains and air and car to flee and portion of the hotel were directed into the shelter as it frozen south in Kiev. Already Ukraine officials said they had lost control of the their commission Chernobyl nuclear power plant since of the one worst nuclear disaster. Russian has embarked on the path of evil, but Ukraine is defending itself and won't give up its freedom. Zelensky tweeted, He grasped on power increasingly tenuous. He pleaded Thursday for even more substantial than the ones imposed by Western allies and order a full military mobilization. 
that would last 90 days. Zelensky said in a video address that 137 heroes, including 10 military officers, have been killed and 316 people wounded. The death included border guards on the Jiminy Island in the Odessa region, has got taken over by Russian. He concluded an emotional speech by saying that the fate of the country depends fully on our army, security force, or for defense. He also said the country has heard from Moscow that they want to talk about Ukraine neutral status. Biden was to meet Friday morning with fellow leaders of NATO governments in what the White House described as an extraordinary virtual summit to discuss Ukraine. U.S. President Joe Biden announced new sanctions against Russia, saying Putin to this war, and had inhibited a sinister view of the one in which nations take what they want by force. Other nations also announced sanctions or said they would shortly. It was always about next aggression about Putin's desire for empire by any means necessary by bullying Russia's neighbors through coercion and corruption, by changing borders, by force, and ultimately by choosing a war without a curse. Biden said, Blinken said in the television interviews that he was convinced that Russia would intend on overthrowing the Ukrainian government, telling CBS that Putin wants to reconstitute the Soviet Empire. Fearing the Russian attack on the capital city, thousands of people went deep underground at night fell, jamming Kiev subway station. At times it felt almost cheerful, families ate dinner, children played, adults chatted, people brought sleeps back or dog or a crossword puzzle, anything to alleviate the waiting and the long night ahead. But the exhausted was clear on many faces and the worries. Nobody believed in this world would start and what they would take care of directly, said Anton Mironov, waiting out of the night in one of the old Soviet metro stations. I feel mostly fatigued. None of it feel real. The invasion began early Thursday, with a series of missile strikes, many on key government and military installations, quickly followed by three pronged ground assaults. Ukrainian and U.S. officials said Russian forces were attack attacking from the east toward Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, from the southern region of Crimea, with Russia and in 2014 and from Beirut to the north. Zelensky, who had earlier cut diplomatic ties with Moscow and declared martial law, appealed to global leaders, saying that if you don't have us now, if you fall to offer powerful assistance to Ukraine, tomorrow the world will knock your door. Through Biden said, he had no plan to speak with Putin. The Russian leader did have what the Kremlin described at a salute and flank exchange with French President Emmanuel Macron. Both sides claimed to have destroyed some of the other aircraft and military hardware through leader of that could be informed. Hours after invasion began, Russian forced side control of the now unused Chernobyl plan and its surrounding Exclusion zone after the fear battle. Presidential advisor Mikhail Poroyat told the Associated Press the Vienna based International Atomic Energy Agency said that was told by Ukraine of the takeover, adding there has been no casualties or destruction at the 
industrial site. The 1986 disaster occurred when a nuclear reactor at the plant, 130 kilometers, 80 miles north of Kiev, exploded, sending a radioactive cloud across Europe. The damaged reactor was later covered by protective shell to prevent leak. Arjona Sesova, advisor of commander of Ukraine's ground force, wrote on Facebook that staff members at the Chernobyl plant has been taken hostage. The White House said it was outraged by reports of the detention. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense issued an update saying that thought the plan was likely captured, the country force had hatched Russia advance toward Chenev, and that it was unlikely that Russia had achieved its plan. They were military objectives. The chief of the NATO allies, Jens Stoltenberg, said the brutal act of war shattered peace in Europe, joining a chorus of world leaders decrying an attack that could cause massive casualties and topple Ukraine democratically elected government. The conflict shook global financial markets, stock plucked and oil price shall admit concern that hitting bills and food price would skyrocket. Condemnation came not only from the US and Europe but, south, but from South Korea, Australia, and beyond, and many governments read their new sanctions. Even friendly leaders like Hungary's Viktor Urban start to distance themselves from Putin. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he aimed to cut off Russia from the UK's finance markets as he announced sanctions, freezing the assets of a large Russian bank and planning to buy Russian companies and the Kremlin from rising money on British markets. Now we see him for what his bloodstained aggressor who believes in imperial conquest, Joseph said to Putin. The US tension will target Russian banks, oligarchs, state control companies, and high tech sectors. Biden said, but they were designed not to disrupt global energy markets, Russian oil and natural gas, export a winter energy source for Europe. Zelensky urged the US and West go to further and cut the Russian from the SWIFT system, a key financial network that connects thousands of banks around the world. The White House has been reluctant to immediately Cut Russia from SWIFT, where it could cause an almost economic problem in Europe and elsewhere in the West. While some nervous Europeans speculated about the possible new world war, the US and NATO partners have shown no indication they would send troops into Ukraine fearing a larger conflict. NATO reinforced its members is an Eastern Europe is a precaution. And Biden said the US would deploy an additional force to Germany to bolster NATO. European authorities declared the, U the country's airspace an active conflict zone, after which of denying plans to invade, Putin launched the operation on the country, the site of Texas that had increasingly titled towards the democratic West and away from Moscow's way. The autocratic leader made clear earlier this week that sees no reason for Ukraine to exist, rising fear of possible broader conflict in the vast space that the Soviet Union once ruled. Putin denied plans to occupy Ukraine, but it ultimately Goals remain hazy. Ukrainians were urged to shelter in place and not to panic until the very last moment. I didn't believe it would happen. 
I just pushed away this thought, said the terrified Anna Donva in Kiev, watching soldiers and police remove shrapnel from an exploded shell. We have a lot of faith with social media amplifying a torrent of military claims and counterclaims. It would be difficult to determine exactly what happened on the ground. Russia and Ukraine made competing claims about damage they had inflicted. Russia Defense Ministry said it had destroyed score of Ukrainian airbase, military facilities and drones. It confirmed the loss of one of its Su-25 attack jets, blaming pilot errors, and said an N-26 transport plane had crashed because of the technical failure, killing the entire crew. It did not say how many were abroad. Russia said it was not targeting city, but journalists saw destruction in many living areas. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.